I still want justice for this woman. Convicted women are accused of being cold-blooded murderers because they stab their assailant 15 times or 30 times. So of course they did. They didn't know that any of those stabs was having any effect. That abuser is so powerful and strong that nothing can stop them. Nothing has ever stopped them in their whole experience. Nancy was sentenced to life without parole in 2005 for killing her husband, Bob Seaman. When a woman is threatened over and over, she's going to be killed. When attacks occur and they keep escalating, they have no idea of the force that they're exerting or the weapons that they're using. They were fighting for their lives. Do you believe that Nancy Seaman should be given clemency? Yes, definitely. Nancy's a victim of domestic violence. In my opinion, it's not a murder. One of my jobs is to know if she is violent or not because her husband was dead. If she is a violent person, it's my job to help her to become nonviolent. I was able to ascertain without doubt that violence is contrary to her personality makeup. She did not premeditate to kill her husband in any way. In fact, she premeditated how to leave him without confrontation and how to do it safely. There are three judges advocating for her now. Her own sentencing judge wrote Governor Snyder. Federal judge Bernard Friedman also wrote Governor Snyder. Prosecutors, judges, and jury members, they go into court well-intentioned, but without an understanding of what they're judging. I'm convinced that if all the evidence was looked at with proper understanding of what they're looking at, they would have come to a different conclusion. And all too frequently, these women are viewed as killers, cold-blooded. They were doing nothing more than trying to survive the day.